Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before getting started, we at Brave Dean would like to say the da'wah must go on no matter the life circumstances, in sickness and in health. Therefore, we hope that you will excuse us for any changes in sound or quality in this reading. If you are a Muslim or want to become one, then listen carefully. Islam is not just about praying five times a day, staying away from haram food, and helping the sick and the poor. Although those things mentioned are very important and should be practiced as they are obligatory on Muslims. But we as Muslims have additional responsibilities. Responsibilities for ourselves, our families, our neighbors, our peers, and our community. To fulfill these responsibilities, you need certain skills that will turn you into a competent and confident Muslim and human being in all aspects of life. In this video, we will go over five essential skills that every Muslim should master. Pay close attention to the last two because they might bring you the greatest rewards. So do not skip. Do not be weak. Number one, resourcefulness. Resourcefulness and conserving resources isn't just a choice. It's a command from the Prophet of Allah himself, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wastefulness or Israf in Arabic goes against the very essence of Islam, a religion built on gratitude and moderation. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said in a hadith, Do not waste water, even if you perform your wudu besides a flowing river. Sunan Ibn Majah 425 Yet how many of us waste water when we wash ourselves, prepare food, like it's an endless resource? Remember this, every drop of water and every crumb of bread you consume or waste it's a testament to your Iman. Not only will you be judged on what you have eaten and where it came from, it is also your gateway to Allah's Barakah, His blessings. Do not ignore the power of Allah's blessings. It might be just what you need to survive and even build wealth. Stay mindful, stay grateful, and align your actions with the essence of minimizing Israf, wastefulness, and maximizing your blessings, Barakah, from Allah. If you want to surround yourself with resourceful Muslims, you can join our free Discord server with 500 members growing each day. Link in the description. Number two, negotiation. The art of negotiation is not just a skill, it's a sunnah, a practice recommended by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. You can negotiate not only in the areas of business, but also in personal relationships. One of the first professions that our Prophet وسلم, had was specialization in sales and negotiation. When he did business, he would always tell the truth about his products. He was known for his honesty, his impeccable manners, even with rude and bad people, and his ability to figure out the best for everyone. This way of doing business was also the way he dealt with people, both good and bad. So remember this, negotiation isn't just about words or sales. It's about maintaining justice and order and spreading the truth amongst your people, not selling dreams or lies for worldly gain. It's your duty to be fair, just, and honest in all your dealings. It is more important to earn Allah's trust than to earn pennies from a customer. While there is good in both, strive to be an excellent servant of Allah and a master negotiator. Number three, self-defense. Understand this. Self-defense is not just a sports activity. It's a skill that should be mastered by every Muslim. In Islam, our faith does not tolerate weakness in the face of danger. In fact, Allah wants us to be strong, brave, and able to protect not just ourselves, but our families and our communities. In a powerful hadith, our Prophet wasallam said, A strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than a weak believer, while there is good in both. Sahih. Now, listen carefully. Our Prophet وسلم, does not tell you to become aggressive or oppressive. He wants his nation to prepare and be able to defend themselves without relying on anyone other than Allah. Because in life, you will come across other situations where you have no choice but to fight back. Not only physical confrontations, but also mental and psychological ones. Learning how to fight develops exactly that. Your safety and the security of your family are your responsibilities. Although Allah Azawajal is our protector, He also gave you a mind and a body that you can develop. So use what Allah gave you instead of worrying or wasting it. 
He gave you the free will to make the best choices available to you. So join a halal boxing gym where you don't hit the face or a wrestling gym to improve your conditioning, reactions, and basic self-defense moves. Improve your physical and mental strength and prepare yourself and your children to uphold the teachings of Islam and to defend what is right. Number four, reading and writing Arabic. To learn the sacred language of Arabic is something every Muslim should master. Yet, most Muslims either cannot read Arabic or they limit themselves by not putting effort into understanding it. Listen closely. The ability to read and understand Arabic is not just a skill. It is a gateway to be inspired by the very words of Allah. Imagine reading Surah Al-Fatiha countless times a day in your prayers your entire life yet not understanding a single word of it. That would be an opportunity lost to gain immense rewards from Allah. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The best amongst you Muslims are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it. Sahih. Understand this. Arabic is the language that Allah has chosen to reveal the Qur'an. To neglect this, to ignore learning it, is to distance oneself from the essence of Islam. It is your responsibility to learn the basics of the language of the Qur'an and gradually improve your reading and understanding. Go to your local mosque or look up Arabic tutorials on YouTube where you can follow along at your own pace. Find useful resources on my Patreon to help you learn Arabic, inshallah. And while learning, don't be distracted by the complexity of the Arabic alphabet or grammar. The road to mastery is a process, so be patient and steadfast. Even struggling to learn the language will have big rewards as long as you have the right intention. So don't give up. Number five, the art of da'wah is the ability to communicate the beauty of Islam to Muslims and non-Muslims. It is one of the best things that a Muslim can ever do. And more importantly, it is among the most important skills of prophecy. Every Muslim should strive to convey the teachings of Islam with elegance and simplicity. Imagine guiding a non-Muslim into Islam. Every single deed that this person completes, a portion of that person's reward will be written to you without decreasing the rewards of that person. In other words, you earn hasanat passively. To inform others about Islam does not require that you should memorize all of the Qur'an and the Hadith. Our Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Convey from me even if it is only one verse from Al-Bukhari. Know this, your words have the power to transform lives. It is not enough to simply possess knowledge. You must share it with certainty and clarity. Dawah is not about how much you know. It's about how you present what you know. Therefore, you should master the art of communication because your words have the potential to guide others towards the path of righteousness. A good place to start is our Patreon, where you have access to countless resources about Islam. Link in the description. If you want this message to reach more Muslim men, like this video and subscribe to this channel. Write Brave Dean at the end to let me know that you made it, that you were not weak. May Allah reward you for your efforts. Until next time, stay blessed and steadfast. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.